Hello and welcome to Angry Andy Reviews and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about Deadwood the series, its end and how it's kind of a forgotten gem in the American TV catalogue. I have finally seen uh, Deadwood the movie and for whatever reason it took me this long to boot up the disc and once again be embraced by the glorious and wonderful richness of its world. In truth, I had almost forgotten it existed. The movie took that long to come to fruition that its release seemed almost like an illusion, a false prophet if you were, after an agonising long wait in the desert. Deadwood can easily be considered one of the great gems of the golden age of American television. That's a term I use amongst friends and peers to describe that era of great shows like Mad Men, Breaking Bad, Battlestar Galactica, even Lost and 24 to a degree. An era that may well have come to its end with Game of Thrones and the Westworld, for better or for worse, depending on your opinion. But Deadwood, which was cancelled at the end of season 3 due to headbutting between HBO and other production companies in amongst spiralling costs, is an unknown to many TV enthusiasts and in danger of ultimately being forgotten entirely. The TV movie has successfully rounded out the stories and the characters in a truly wonderful and poignant way, a way that will have pleased many and brought a sense of finality and completion to something that truly needed it. But it hasn't provided a rebirth of sorts. There has been no great swan song or rekindling of the series, no great marathon re-watches like that of Twin Peaks when its own revival and conclusion was released. Other great shows, ironically HBO dramas as well, such as The Sopranos and The Wire, have entirely weathered the shifts in political paradigms, home viewing trends and modern living standards to still be seen as essential viewing and something sacred, which they both are, in their own rights, but Deadwood is barely ever mentioned. Deadwood itself focused on the birth of civilization in the American West, and was majestically unglamorous, like so many other tales of the Old West seen on screen. It acknowledged how base human desires and simple necessities had an impact on all of us and society as a wider, as a wider purpose. It explored many ideas that reside within our own society, the growth in wealth, and that that in itself is seen as the one true value of life when it, when it really isn't. It showed that people can adapt and even change their outlooks for the betterment of others, even when it doesn't necessarily align with their own points of view or individual motivations. Deadwood posited the idea that despite our differences, our own wants and needs, the opportunity is there to become a unified society, a better community and acknowledge that our own self-interests can do more harm than good and that there is far more to life than that. The show featured dozens of lovable and memorable characters, featured incredible dialogue that was melodic, poetic, Shakespearean to its core and was driven by some of the finest performances in any show before or even since. Ian McShane gave possibly one of the greatest villainous performances of all time as the murderous and unpredictable saloon owner Al Swearingen. His own transformation throughout the entirety of the series from a base criminal into someone who becomes a focal point at the very heart of the community highlights the great lines of character that permeate the show and it worked perfectly and believably. It wasn't simply a bad guy becoming good but an exploration and development that was a natural evolution of that character. Sadly the show was cut short long before any of the major threads were truly explored. It was cancelled so abruptly that much was forced into the finale of season 3. It is well known that even the cast were shocked at the decision, with many of them having already signed on and were fully committed to a fourth season. The season 3 finale is one that really stings. Despite it being a great ending, 
a great chapter at the time. It expertly showcased the ideas of, and conundrums that resided at the, at the heart of the show. Several characters were forced to make maddeningly horrific decisions and choices in an effort to provide and protect the wider morality of society that they had built together. The growth of the major characters is tested as they are made to return to their darker, more primitive ways with shocking results, and the final shot highlights this. It was a great finale in truth, but it hurt all the same. Thankfully, Deadwood the movie brought much needed closure and serves as the true finale that fans deserved. Deadwood never tries to defend human nature, nor does it glamorise anything about the way society is built and our need for such. Things happen, people adapt, or they move on, or they die. Despite the setting, Deadwood is something much more personal than many other shows, more introspective and, and thoughtful than so many of its peers. It can make you cry, feel horrified, and laugh in equal measure. Deadwood deserves honour and recognition for the majestic storytelling it provides, for the beautiful filmmaking, for the sheer wonder of its characters, so unique and, and troubled, how they blend into each other and infuse and expand the very heart of the world they build. With a solid finale that comes with the release of the movie, I hope more people seek out the show and explore it. Give it a try, have a touch of faith in it. Sure, it was cancelled, but not for the reason that many other shows are. Deadwood was a, was a casualty of something between boardrooms, between paychecks and financiers. A Shakespearean tragedy in its own right, a forgotten gem of an age of greatness, a show worthy of so much more in the public eye. It deserves your time. Chance your hand and see it for yourself. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.